Simone de Beauvoir's written works offered women a unique perspective on activism and feminism. She wrote novels, essays, biographies, autobiographies, and monographs on philosophy, social issues, and politics. She has been called an existentialist philosopher, a label she was frequently uncomfortable with. Her most renowned success, The Second Sex, was published in 1949. The work was her detailed analysis of women's oppression. Many consider it a foundation for contemporary feminism. Her memoirs were highly honored within literary circles, expressing an unapologetic and candid appraisal of her life, her sexual identity, and the challenges of maintaining a just society. De Beauvoir first met philosopher and writer Jean-Paul Sartre during their college years. They began a romantic relationship that would evolve into a lifelong comradeship. Each significantly influenced the other's creative output and developing philosophies. She opted never to marry or have children. She preferred to write, advance her education, teach, and engage in political causes. Their philosophical discussions at Les Deux Magots Café in Paris became legendary. Her relationship was sexually open with Sartre. Two notable men, Claude Landsman and Nelson Algen, shared long-term relationships with her. She lived with Langsman between 1952 and 1959. Algen was the author of The Man with the Golden Arm, eventually made into a film starring Frank Sinatra about a heroin addict. She died at the age of 78 on October 14, 1986, six years following her companion Sartre. She is buried at the Montparnasse Cemetery in Paris.